What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to make a quick video. It was requested by some of my subscribers and I also received this video, received this question via email. Um, I know that a lot of incoming students are looking at what type of technology to buy to start dental school or you know maybe medical school or even undergrad. So I'm going to show you guys what I use in dental school. It's only a few items. It's my most necessary technology that I think I used in my first semester, my first year of dental school. And um, it's only a few things. You've probably seen most of them in my what's in my bag video that I did uh, first semester of my first year of dental school. But if you have not seen that video, this is a little more updated, probably a little better filmed and um, get straight to the point of what electronics I use in dental school. If you're new to the channel, my name is Eli. I'm a second year dental student at Boston University, Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. On this channel, I make vlogs of my dental school journey as well as advice for pre-dental students to help them get to the next level, which is dental school. So if this channel is interesting to you, please make sure that you subscribe, leave a like or comment under the video, and share the channel with any of your friends that you think may find it interesting as well. Now let's get into the video. So um, you can see most of the items in my thumbnail. I'm going to just move along. First things first, my Apple Watch. Um, I like to walk to school, I like to work out. Uh, having an Apple Watch is a good way for me to track my fitness throughout the day, especially because I don't always get to go to the gym necessarily due to the rigor of dental school and how time consuming it is. But I know that um, when I wear my watch to walk to and from school or just when I'm walking throughout the day, I can still kind of track my daily fitness. Um, obviously, you know, with the Apple Watch, you can receive your calls or your text messages on your watch. So if you're doing something where you have to be away from your phone or when your phone can't be out, for example, when I'm in the sim lab, which last year was once a week, but this year is going to be basically every day. I don't have to have my phone on me if someone needs to reach out to me via text or uh, call. Also, you know, you can wear your headphones or AirPods in the sim lab and my AirPods connect directly to my phone, I mean, to my watch. So if someone calls me, I can just pick it up right there, etc. So as I just talked about the watch, I would say the next thing are my AirPods. Um, I use these walking to school. I use them when I'm in sim lab. I love the noise cancellation part of them. I love the transparency part where you can change it so that you can hear the things around you. Maybe, you know, when you want to change it from noise canceling, when your professor's talking, you need to listen to what they're saying. It's also helpful for me when I'm walking to school. I can have it on transparency mode so I can still be aware of my surroundings. They're very small and kind of unnoticeable, so people don't really see them in my ears from a mile away. Um, and, you know, it's very, you know, very convenient to take to school, use at school, etc. While we're on the subject of headphones, the next thing... Studio Beats. So these are something that I keep more so in the house. I only really take them to the gym. Uh, I like to use them when I'm studying in the house. Got a nice noise cancellation on there, so I can't even keep them on as I talk to you guys or I'm going to start talking super loud. But um, I like to use them when I'm in the house studying. I can just listen to music and not be able to hear the things in my apartment building. Or when I like to edit videos, I like to use these so I can really judge the quality of the sound, uh, the background music, etc. And it's, you know, just nice to listen to music in these and really hear all parts of the music. They're so comfortable. And, I, you know, I like rocking these in the house, but they're expensive, so I don't really like to take them to school. The library is already quiet enough that I don't really need these. But, you know, it would be nice for watching lectures. Um stuff like that but you know these these are like a in the house thing those are like my babies like try to make sure i really take care of them and don't take them very far next things next this is probably the most important thing out of everything that i use my ipad 
if, if you're in dental school, you need one of these. It's just way easier to take notes in class when you can write directly on the PowerPoint. You don't have to, you know, waste your time writing notes of stuff that's on the PowerPoint. You can just jot down the notes of what the teacher's saying. I think the best way to take notes when you're in dental school is um, when you have an iPad, you can, you know, download the PowerPoint before class or at the beginning of class. Afterwards, during class, you can just write down on the PowerPoint what the teacher is saying. And you know, when you're in dental school or medical school, or really even when you're in college, you should be studying every day. So you wanna study the things you learned that day when you get home, because that's the best way to remember things is when you start studying it earlier and earlier. So a nice way to review your notes at the end of the day is to come home, open up a blank Microsoft Word page or whatever, and make like a one page note for each class that you had that day where you condense the notes from the PowerPoint with the notes that you wrote down in class. Keep it short and concise. You know, you don't have to waste hours and hours doing this, but it's a good way to review what you learned in class, condense your notes, make it neat and nice and have something to study for your exam. So I definitely use my app, my iPad as my life. I have a digital planner on here. I have my notes. I use the Notability app because I know someone's going to ask. Um, and I just have everything right here. I use my notes app to plan YouTube videos. I do everything on this. Of course, uh, second to last thing, iPhone, any kind of phone you have, you know you low-key need it. Um, your patients have to get in touch with you. Your classmates have to get in touch with you. You need your phone. I think that goes without saying. Last but not least, MacBook Pro. I don't really use this too much for school. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I could definitely have just an iPad. I don't really take my Mac to school that much. The only reason I carry my Mac around is to edit videos. I do all of my YouTube editing on my MacBook Pro. I'm low key thinking about getting a new one soon. Um, I just saw those new uh, MacBook Pros come out with the super big eight terabyte hard drive, something that I could really use as a video editor but you know my Mac can do it for now like I, I have no issues with this I have space on it it runs pretty well uh, it works well I'm, I'm not complaining with this uh, MacBook at all um, I use it a lot I uh, use it mostly for videos but like I said you definitely want to have something you can type on uh, whether that be your iPad or your Mac it does not really matter I like using my Mac. Um, I couldn't see myself with just an iPad, to be honest, but you never know. Um, you never really know. So, yeah. Uh, that's everything that I use. Uh, for those people that are wondering where, you know, if you're trying to decide between Mac versus Windows, etc., I think you should go with. Uh, whatever is best for you, whatever you like to use the most. Um, everything is about user interface. I like using Apple products because, you know, everything is just so, like, mesh well. I don't even know the word. I'm so streamlined. Everything's so streamlined. Like, I can easily move my AirPods between my phone, iPad, Mac, uh, Apple Watch. Same thing with the Beats. Um, they work, everything works really well. It's good quality. I just love it, you know. So that's all for today's video. This is a short one, just updating you guys on some of the technology that I use for dental school. Please, if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. And this is just a sneak preview. We do have some vlogs coming back. Um, I'm going to the SNDA conference on June 23rd in Orlando. Kofi's coming with me. Well, and it's not with me, but me and Kofi are going. Kofi's going to be in the vlog. Um, and it's going to be a fun time. But more importantly, I'm going to vlog as much of the conference as I can. So that should be exciting. I know you guys might want to see that. Uh, I might meet some of my subscribers there. I'm definitely going to meet some of my classmates from other schools there. So it's going to be exciting. Um, and I can't wait. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. What do y'all think about this new setup? I've been trying to kind of struggling to find 
places that I want to record my videos. Uh, right now I'm in Boston. Sometimes, you know, I record when I'm in Maryland. I've just kind of been all over the place recently. My last video was at school. Um, you know, I'm just in the process of trying to figure things out. You guys know I don't really do the sit down videos as much anymore. Uh, I'm definitely all about the vlogging, but this is how some of the videos have to go. So tell me what you think about this setup. Thanks for watching if you watched all the way through, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.